Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Learn to Read Quran. So here we are on another lesson and today what we're doing, we're doing another tanween because there are three vowels. We've met a tanween of fatha, a doubling of fatha, where one fatha noise gave us an a noise and two fathas then became an. And if that just sounds like you don't remember any of that, then please go back on the other videos to make sure that you can remember what I'm talking about, because today we are looking at the tenween of Kesra, so doubling a Kesra. And here we are, all of this alphabet here has two Kesras underneath. And you can see that there's no accompanying bodyguard of Alif, like there was with the tenween of Fatha. So this is just very straightforward. One Kesra underneath a letter is an E noise. Two Kesras like this written. Tenween of Kesra becomes an in noise. So e to in. You just put a n noise with the e. So I'm going to read through the alphabet and hopefully all should become clear as I go through it. So here we'll start on line one with the Hamza with two Kesras. It is in. Bear with the two Kesras becomes bin. T with two kesras, tin. Th with two kesras, fin. Jim with two kesras, jin. Ha with two kesras, hin. Ho with two kesras, hin. So remember we said, we've said this before, that Kesra has a way of making things light. The, the shape of the tongue, really, it doesn't become very thick at the back. So even the some of the letters that originally we saw in red, and we said that way, if it's, a, if it's a red letter in the alphabet page right at the beginning of the course, then that would have been a thick, heavy letter. But some of these letters, when they have Kesra, they don't, they don't really keep much of their thickness, and Kha is one of them. Line four, Din. So that was Dal with two Kesras, Din. Then the Dal with two Kesras, Vin. Ra with two Kesras. What do you think? Is it going to be heavy or is it going to be light? Yep, you're right. It's going to be light. Vin. If I had made it heavy, it would be Rin, and it's not. Rin, so it's nice and light. Z with two kesras. Zin. Sin with two kesras. Sin. Sheen with two kesras. Shin. Sod with two kesras. Sin. Ah, so this does keep its thickness. It does keep itself nice and thick, even when it has a kesra. And guess what? So does this one. So does this one. And so does this one. Those are the only four, really, that will keep their thickness when they have a kesra or even two kesras. So this one, the first one here, sin. The next one, din, still keeps thickness. Then on line six, we've got the ta with the two kesras, din, va with two kesras, din. So those four that I've boxed in red, even when they have kesra, they still keep themselves thick and heavy. There were three other letters, weren't there, that were in red originally on our alphabet page. One of them was a kh. One of them was a rain, and the other one was off. Those are the three that, when they have a kesra or even two kesras, they don't really keep much of their thickness at all. They keep their position of where the letter is made. But that characteristic of being thick and heavy, that doesn't really stay with them. But we're still here. We're still on line six. We did the ta with two kesras, which was thin. We did the va with two kesras, which was 
win. And now we've got the Ein with two Kestras. Ein. Now, a lot of my students say, oh my gosh, I can't seem to get this. Well, my trick for this one is put your mouth in the position of the Kestra. So it's a bit like a, a semi-grin, sort of you pull your mouth back into, not a, not hopefully a leer, but a grin. And with your mouth in that position, you pronounce the Ein from the middle of the throat. Ein. And that way you can target the sound of the vowel with this letter. Then we've got the Rhein with the two Kestras. And we know now that it's not going to be particularly thick and heavy. Rin. So you can hear that that is still a Ro, but it's not thick and heavy. Line seven, we've got Fa with two Kestras. Fin. Off with two Kestras. Rin. So you can hear I'm not making it thick and heavy. If I made it thick and heavy, it would sound as Rin. But I'm not doing that because Qaf doesn't do that when it has a Kestra or even two Kestras. So Qaf with two Kestras. Rin. Kaf with two Kestras. Kin. So that sounds more like the K of kick or the K of kangaroo, doesn't it? Line eight. Lam with two kestras, lin. Mim with two kestras, min. Noon with two kestras, nin. Then finally here on line nine, we have ha, that deep, that deep noise of the ha. Two kestras on that is hin. I usually tell my students that this ha sounds a bit kind of scary, a bit you know, it's a, a bit sort of, yeah, a bit scary, really. Hin, it's that deep noise. Wow, with two kestras. Win. And yeah, with two kestras. Yin. So that noise, the double kestra noise, has been put on all of these letters of the alphabet. Please do practice this page. Make sure you can get the sounds correct. And also to see if you can... Make those ones that I boxed in red to keep those thick and heavy, even when they have the double kestra. But good, keep practicing, and I will see you next time. Assalamu alaikum.